some back stiffness, and he has not yet recovered. He will not play tonight. Michael Carter-Williams, a far less explosive offensive player, gets the start for Orlando at the shooting guard. High-scoring sixth man Terrence Ross missed the game against the 76ers as well. As a result of a tweaked hamstring, he is back tonight, and that certainly will present problems for the Thunder as he is the leading bench scorer in the NBA at 21 points a game. Orlando is solid offensively, working inside out, featuring one-time All-Star center Nikola Vucevic, who had a 28-point, 10-rebound double-double here on Tuesday night en route to Orlando's 11-point win. In fact, he spearheaded an attack that generated a franchise record 72 points in the paint. That leads us to our key matchup served by Sonic. Can the Thunder do a better job on the interior defensively in this game against the Magic than they did in the meeting that they had with them five days ago? Al Horford's return will help. Horford sat that game out, resting the second night of a back-to-back, as he'll look to shore up the interior defense for the Thunder in this matchup to open a five-game road swing. Those are the key matchups tonight served by Sonic. Head coach Mark Dagnall lays out his game plan for the Thunder to open this road trip on a high note next on the Oklahoma City Thunder Radio Network. Jay Gildas Alexander, number two, Oklahoma City Thunder. Jay Gildas Alexander was born in Toronto, Canada. Gildas Alexander comes from an athletic family. His mom was a former track star who competed in the 1992 Summer Olympic Games. His younger brother is a college basketball player for the Evansville Purple Aces, and his cousin currently plays for the New Orleans Pelicans. SGA spent one season at Kentucky for entering the NBA draft. Jay Gildas Alexander, number two for your Oklahoma City Thunder. Ty Jerome, number 16, Oklahoma City Thunder. Ty Jerome was a starting point guard for the University of Virginia during their national championship run in 2019. Jerome was drafted by the Philadelphia 76ers in 2019, but was traded to the Phoenix Suns. Jerome is one of three brothers and two sisters. His favorite NBA player growing up was Steve Nash. Ty Jerome, number 10 for your Oklahoma City Thunder. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Oklahoma City Thunder Radio Network. KWPN Moore, WWLS-FM, The Village, Oklahoma City, KYAL, Sepulpa, KYAL-FM, Tulsa, KSIW, Woodward, KADS, Elk City, KBGN, Pawhuska, KBSO, Ardmore, WKY, Oklahoma City, Accumulus Station. It's time to find out what's on the mind of the Thunder head coach. Here's the voice of the Thunder, Matt Pinto. On the Oklahoma City Thunder Radio Network. Thunder in Central Florida this evening. They take on Orlando Magic for the second time in five days, opening a five-game Eastern Swing. We're joined by head coach Mark Dagnall, uh, who is at the uh, Amway Center with the club. And, uh, Mark, uh, you face a team that you saw five days ago, as I mentioned, a Tuesday night game that was incredibly competitive through three quarters. In the fourth, Orlando began pulling away with outstanding offensive execution, wound up winning 118-107. Is it valuable to see a team within these sort of tight uh, quarters, uh, you both have had one game in between, but can you make adjustments and see where your team has grown in, in a competitive environment against them tonight? Yeah, you know, I think uh, that that is, especially for us, you know, with our focus being so much on growing and improving, um, you know, for a lot of our players, every time you see a team, every time you see a, another player is, is another layer for them of learning and growing. And so when there's a familiarity you know, in the same week, there's specific things that you can identify to try to take a step forward in. And, you know, seeing Orlando uh, again tonight allows us to do that. Seeing New Orleans, you know, in the middle of this trip allows us to do that. And so we'll try to take advantage of that opportunity. Your team, when we look at shot distribution, is taking almost 46% of your overall shots from three-point range, 48 attempted from beyond the arc against New Orleans in your most recent game two nights ago. Are you good with that? Is that a balance that you like? Or is this basically get the best available shot within the construct and live with the results? How do you sort of assess that at this point? Uh, best available shot, you know, for the most part, you know, there's things like uh, pace and spacing and execution that are taking precedent over, uh, you know, where our shots are coming from right now. And, and you try to use those things to yield the best shot you can find. Uh, a little bit of it is the teams we're playing against and the way that they've played us in, in pick and roll defense. They've been aggressive three out of the four games. Um, we've seen very aggressive pick and roll coverage and very aggressive help defense. And that opens up weak side perimeter threes, which uh, we're going to take. But, 
you know, on the whole, we want to be a team that's got balance. You know, we'd like to get to the rim. We'd like to get to the line and we'd like to get open shots, open threes. Um, you know, so that's the ultimate goal. But, you know, at the same time, right now we're focused on the pace of our offense, our spacing and how well we execute and just trying to tick forward there. And, um, you know, we'll layer up from that. Hopefully, I'll The Oklahoma Lottery makes it easy to play and now easier to pay with new payment options. Use your credit card, mobile pay, debit card, or cash for your favorite games. You can win big with the Oklahoma Lottery. I'm at the line in time that you have away from game activity. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's a, it's always a tricky one, um, you know, from a coaching standpoint. It's like what you really do with that. Uh, we certainly like to put the time in. We try to make sure that's incorporated in all of our players' development work, whether it's individual or as a team. Uh, but at the same time, you know, that's one of those things that's it's hard to overcoach that. Um, some of that is randomness. Some of that will course correct. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I don't know if the sample, you know, for the individual guys is large enough right now to, to really react to it yet. But, um, you know, as of right now, we're just trying to stay consistent, put the work in. And, and you know, if something emerges as a theme uh, over a larger sample size, we'll obviously try to address anything that's holding our team back. How different is your approach defensively for the Magic tonight versus when you saw them um, earlier this past week? No Evan Fournier tonight for them. Uh, they'll start Michael Carter Williams. Um, clearly, Carter Williams not the three point threat or the shooter from the perimeter that Fournier is. Does that change your defensive scheme at all? Well, no Fournier certainly changes it a bit because he's he's featured and he's a really really you know good player. You know, so that we can shuffle some things around a little bit there. But, you know, like I mentioned before, you know, it's an opportunity when you see the team uh, for the second time in less than a week. You know, there's things that we did well in that last game that we want to try to sustain. And then there's things uh, that we think we can tick forward in and improve on. And so, um, you know, more focused on that. But, you know, absolutely, you know, Fournier being out is a factor. Al Horford didn't play the game uh, that you faced off against this team with on Tuesday in your building, nor did George Hill. You have both available tonight. Um, do you anticipate presenting more of a problem for Nikola Vucevic, who's an incredibly versatile uh, opposing center mark? He had a big night against you with 28 points, 10 rebounds uh, in Orlando's win on Tuesday night. Yeah, I mean, Al and George are really good players. They help us, and, you know, anytime. Um, you know, they're fresh and out there playing. That's good for us. And so, you know, we'll get an uptick from that. Uh, and Vucevic is a good player. You know, he's just one of those guys that puts you in dilemmas because he can shoot and he can